The old mining town of Bisbee has long been a destination of adventurers, miners, and now tourists. Lots of tourists. The popular brewery Gulch, the haunted Copper Queen Hotel, plus some pretty good restaurants all make Bisbee a popular getaway. Yeah, it reminds me of um, San Francisco and Europe. Like all, all bundled smushed up. Smushed together. And now you can see it all from the comfort of Renee Harper's 1983 Cadillac Hearse as she tours the streets and tells the ghost stories of this southeastern Arizona town. So what is the massacre? So the Bisbee Massacre took place in what's now the Sam Poe Gallery. And the Bisbee Massacre was basically a robbery which went awry. The ringleader's name was John Heath, and he organized a bunch of his buddies to rob what used to be the mercantile store, thinking that the payroll money for the Copper Queen mine was kept in the safe. And of course, the payroll money was not kept there. And the guys that were inside didn't know what to do, so they started to rob the individual patrons. The gentlemen who were the lookouts started to get a little bit antsy and started to shoot at random people on the street because it was taking longer than they had expected it to. That's a good reaction. Yeah, exactly, right? So where are we off to now? We are going to go to the Bisbee Courthouse, which is haunted by Judge Ross, who was the first judge to reside there. Is he angry about something? I just think he likes the building. I don't think he's angry at all. Did something tragic happen to Judge Ross or he just... I think, I believe he died of natural causes. But he just refused he, to leave? Yeah, he just really, really liked his courthouse. And I don't blame him because it's actually a very beautiful building. It's a perfect example of Art Deco architecture. Which is one of the things Bisbee's known for, right? Yes. So there was a woman, it was her first day on the job. Her coworkers sent her the key to the storage room to go get some papers. So she unlocks the door, she opens it, and she sees a gentleman wearing a black robe, like that a judge would wear, sitting on the opposite side of the room. So she freaks out, runs back downstairs, tell her, tells her coworkers what had happened, and they responded, yeah, that's why we don't go up there by ourselves. And you believe that's a true story? It was on the front page of the Sierra Vista Herald, yep. <laughs> she made the paper with that experience. <laughs> What's our next stop here? Well, we are going to go to the Clausen House. The Clausen House was built as a boarding house for the miners. In the 1930s, there was a miners' strike, and the gentlemen who came into town to take over the miners' jobs, a bunch of them were staying at the Clausen House. Well, of course, the miners did not appreciate them being here, and one night, a bunch of miners got drunk at Elmo's, came up to the Clausen House, and stabbed three of the scabs to death. Their ghosts are said to haunt the Clausen house along with Mrs. Clausen, who was the original owner and caretaker. Renee started telling her ghost stories on walking tours, but she found that not everyone could handle the Bisbee Hills and numerous sets of stairs they faced as they learned the stories. So we wanted to give those people an opportunity to experience the ghost tour, and we thought a hearse would be the perfect vehicle to do a driving tour in. But you said you always wanted a hearse. I did. It was also an excuse to get a hearse. <laughs> <laughs> the inn at Castle Rock was built on top of the original water spring in town. These three rooms were all one apartment in the 30s. It was in that apartment where a gentleman was cleaning his gun. It accidentally went off and shot a woman who was walking on the opposite side of the street. And her ghost is said to haunt those three rooms searching for her killer. And yes, I believe that story. <laughs> Renee says she calls her hearse Jeepers Creepers and says that the thing riders seem to enjoy most about her tours is getting back out of the hearse under their own power. 